Hello there, Drew Handish of Whiskey Lore, and it's time for another whiskey tasting. Today, back to the Busker series, we're actually going to go do the last of the series, which is their blend. And so this blend, triple cask, triple smooth, so it says, 80 proof. So it's actually a little lower in ABV than the whiskeys that are contained within it. And the way this is produced is that they take their single grain, which is run through a column still, their single malt, which goes triple distilled through their pot stills, and then triple distilled on their pot still whiskey as well. And so three different types of whiskey blended together to go in here. Then they use three different types of casks. So they're using a Marcella, X Marcella cask, an X bourbon cask, and an X sherry cask to mature these whiskeys. And what's interesting about this is as I look through the bottle and I'm trying to find information on it, and of course I've been to the distillery, I know about I've seen the pot stills, I've seen the column still. I'm trying to see if they use the words triple distilled on here anywhere. And they did not, to their credit, because there's another really big distillery who puts triple distilled on their whiskey, even though part of that whiskey comes through a column still. So that is not triple distilled. You, you, and all the wishing in the world will not make it so, but... Apparently, it's okay. There's no rules in Irish whiskey against putting that on a bottle where maybe not all the contents have been triple distilled. So, very, very interesting there. So, we've got this whiskey that's made up of three different types of whiskey. It's been aged in three different barrels, and part of it has been triple distilled. Can you name another distillery? You put it down in the comments. Can you name another distillery that I have done a review of recently that is from Ireland who also does this process? It's a little brain teaser there for you. See how much you're paying attention because there is another distillery that follows this same kind of plan. Now, the difference is the busker, the whiskey that's in this bottle is from the Royal Oak Distillery, which is where Busker is made. Whereas that other distillery, that sourced whiskey that they age on site. So that's your, that's your little hint, okay? Mm. So this is a whiskey where, the, my opinion has been in the past, before I went to Ireland, that triple distill means that basically you're just distilling the flavor out of a whiskey. I mean, once you've gotten past that second distillation, you've got a good whiskey, you know, you you can't help it by throwing it into that still uh, one more time. That was my opinion. Because I didn't understand that a skilled distiller can find really good cut points. They don't always, on the second still, need to just pass all the liquid through. Sometimes they'll take heads or tails out in that second still before they move over to the third still. And if you don't understand heads or tails, heads being the methanol and uh, acetone, all that stuff that's kind of uh, aggressive and, and not good for you to drink. And then the tails or faints are the congeners, the stuff that's probably kind of left over, it gets funky after a while, it's too low in ABV. And so you're taking your slice out and a skilled distiller will know where that move from the heads to the heart starts and that's a really critical point. So making your right cuts is important, even more so than the triple distillation. Once you go for that triple distill, if you're distilling it slower and you're getting it to a point where Let's say you distilled hot and heavy on two pot stills. And by the end, you could potentially have whiskey that's over um, 80% alcohol by volume. You could take it much slower on three stills and come out with the same result. 
because of how you are distilling along the way. And then another point that I want to bring up is about the type of whiskey that you're making because single pot still whiskey is much more creamy and oily and that triple distillation I don't think necessarily hurts it so much. So if we're doing a blend here and that blend has two components that are triple distilled, but one of them is pot still, and there's a lot of pot still whiskey in here, then it could create a really nice mouthfeel on something that is two thirds triple distilled. And the other part is through a column still, which is really not supposed to deliver something that is full of um, flavor if it's distilled too high. So um, the food for thought, food for thought, because I, I am changing my mind on triple distillation, but it still is one of those things that I look at and I go, okay, now it's up to the distiller. How well is the distiller handling this and what kind of whiskeys are we distilling? Because I think single malt suffers a bit under triple distillation, but a really slow distillation process might actually be able to, as I say, make up for that. So this is an interesting whiskey because it is a, a, a full profile of what the busker creates. And whoever's doing this blend, I have a mass appreciation for what you're doing because I get more of the pot still character on this whiskey than I get on the pot still whiskey. It's pretty crazy. So what I'm getting here is some graham cracker, which for uh, my friends that are on the other side of the Atlantic, graham crackers, basically a little cracker that has a grain flavor and a honey flavor. And so I'm getting both of those in here really, really nicely. There's some baking spice that comes in, some vanilla. Pear comes in here as well. It's really got a nice, diverse nose to it and you don't have to bury your nose in the glass it just comes comes right out at you it's very very nice and this is another one where hey you know 40 percent abv if you're doing something that has this much of a nose to it at that proof point uh at, at 80 proof i mean that is that's saying something to me cheers So on the palate, it lays heavy in there. What's interesting is that the palate is much different from the nose. The palate is much more one-dimensional. I have struggled with this one. The grain really comes through. Maybe a little bit of honey comes through. It's more on the finish that things start to reveal themselves. You start getting into uh, the, the um, pear comes back, actually just like biting into a pear. It really is strong on the palate, along with a pepper note that comes in, a spicy pepper note comes in, which is something that usually comes through with pot still. So I assume, I do not know, but I assume that there's a lot of pot still whiskey in here because it is really pulling a lot of influence. And whatever they're aging it in, I think that by aging it in these three different casks may be better than the way the regular pot still is being distilled because like I say, the regular pot still to me doesn't remind me as much of a pot still and I'll do a review on it here in the near future and maybe my second drink of it, especially after having this, will change my mind and I will just have missed something or I drank it in the wrong room because as I'm now starting to discover, there's certain rooms in this place that I just should not be nosing and doing tasting notes. But yeah, a really nice nose on this. The palate is very pleasant. Uh, it feels good in the mouth. You know, I would love to see it at maybe a little higher ABV because it might even be more milky and, and oily, but it's, um, it's actually really, really good from that standpoint. And then, like I say, it just, um, it's like it's 
it lulls you to sleep and then all of a sudden here comes the show. It's, uh, it's all that stuff that happens on the finished show. Very interesting whiskey and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And these are low price points, so definitely something if you haven't had Irish whiskey before and or if you've had Jameson, you know, I'd like to try something else other than that and see what else is going on in Irish whiskey. I think this is pretty widely available now. And, you know, the triple cask is an interesting place to start because it will give you a sense of what the other three whiskeys are. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give, give me a like and uh, comments below. And remember, I have a question out there if you wanna answer that question about which other distillery is doing a similar process to this one, although not quite there yet. And until next time, cheers and slanjava. Very pleasant whiskey. It was a good, pleasant whiskey.